hello everyone in today's video we will be understanding this concept of central forces and its general features so basically what is the central force so basically a central force is that force which is directed away or towards a fixed point the central force is of two types first is attractive and other one is repulsive so if the fr is less than 0 then it is attractive and if fr is more than 0 then it is repulsive so this is a basic thing so let's start with its features starting with the first feature if a particle is moving under a central force so torque is r cross f here f is a central force so this this r cross r cap these are the same vector so this will be zero so our torque will be zero so a particle which is under the influence of the central force will experience zero torque and we know with this torque can be written as the change in the angular momentum with time so if our torque is zero that means our angular momentum is constant so that means our angular momentum is conserved that is our first feature if let's move to the second feature our angular momentum is r cross p where p is a linear momentum So this can be written as R cross M V. This is M R cross V. This R and V both lie in the same plane. These two vectors both lie in a same plane. J is the R cross V. That means J will be perpendicular to the plane containing R and V so you can see in this figure also if that means central force motion motion is a planar motion so this is the second feature of the central force let's move to the third feature so the third feature we have an orbit so radius vector is sweeping an angle of d theta change in area can be given by half r r d theta so if you want to to know how the area is changing with time so we just have to differentiate this with time so this will comes out like this so this is half r square theta dot and we know the angular momentum is m r square theta dot this r square theta dot can be written as j over m so we will substitute this expression into here so our aerial change with time can be written as half j over m so this is j over 2m and we know if a particle is moving under a central force then its angular momentum is constant so that means this aerial velocity dA by dt is constant so that's our third feature that is aerial velocity is constant that means a radius vector is sweeping equal areas in equal time 
so these are the three features for a central force if you have any doubts related to these three features you can write me in the comment box and if you like this video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching this video